Radyo Inquirer, 9.90 AM. Kasapi ng KBP. Naglilingkod, nagbabalita, may paninindigan. Radyo Inquirer, 9.90 AM. Mga kabataan, power up your Saturday. Just do it! Makitrending. Mag-shout out. Be connected. Nasa FB ka man o Twitter, Instagram o Google+, impossible is nothing. Dito, di ka na mauli sa uso. We love it. Join ka na. Your potential is our passion. Be inspired. Be informed. Be involved. Be empowered. It's the real thing. Voice of the Youth Radio. Voice of the Youth Radio. Voice of the Youth Radio. Makinig sa Voice of the Youth Radio. Sa Radio Inquirer, 9.90 a.m. Saturdays, 3 p.m. Think differently. I-like mo na. I-share mo pa. Voice of the Youth Radio. Sigaw na. Voice of the Youth Network. Informing. Inspiring. Involving and empowering the Filipino youth worldwide. Initiating startup sequence. Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? <sighs> Voice of the Youth Radio is back. Voice of the Youth. Voting Network brings you once more Voice of the Youth Radio. 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 Now on its 10th year. Even louder and more powerful via Inquirer Radio. It's the newest and most trending show on radio. Know the latest in technology. Engage in the most awesome advocacies and meet the coolest young Pinoys. Power up and share your voice. Hashtag Bodhi Radio. Every Saturdays, 3 p.m. on Radio Inquirer, 9.90 a.m. Voice of the Youth Radio. We go now. The power of Filipino youth is an essential part of creating solutions for the challenges of our world. The Filipino youth not only advocate one mission, they live the mission. The mission of spreading positive change. We are the power. We are the voice of the youth. We Welcome to the Voice of the Youth Radio. Okay, ayan. Welcome to Voice of the Youth Radio. Palakma ka naman tayo sa yeah. magandang hapon sa lahat ng tagapakinig natin, mga katinig natin na nakikinig ngayon. And syempre, marami tayong guests ngayon. So, wag na magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Magpakilala ka na ang aking kasamang anchor pa rin, si Miss Jeka. Go! Magandang magandang hapon, everybody, mga katinig. I'm back! Okay. Lexi! At ako nga po pala si Dan, ang President ng Student Voice Artist Society. Makakasama nyo kami ngayon sa isang oras at kalhati na usapan dito lamang sa DZIQ 990 AM. And dahil dyan, nako, talagang marami tayong guest ngayon. So, medyo... Nagmamadali, hindi naman. Okay. Hindi naman, chill lang. Okay, chill. dito na tayo ngayon sa ating first segment, which is News for the Youth. This is Voting Radio's News for the Youth. Hazard maps distributed in the metro in preparation for earthquake strikes. 
87 hazard maps were given to local go government in Metro Manila last Thursday to be used in preparation for possible earthquakes that might hit the area. According to Renato Solidum, chief of Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology of Orfevox, he is hoping that Metro Manila can subdue future calamities like earthquakes. However, a 6.5 or a 7.2 magnitude earthquake can actually create a huge destruction, but its effects can be minimized through thorough understanding of the new multi-hazard and risk maps for Metro Manila and more effective preparations for such events. These new hazard maps were results of the Risk Analysis Project, which is a collaboration of PBOX and PAGASA. Youth to Business Forum Promotion The Pioneering Business Youth Forum is back this October 23, 2013, aiming to create a globally competitive Philippines to pave the road towards a more sustainable future. The Philippines Youth to Business, or Y2B Forum, creates a unique platform for the business sector and young adults to discuss and generate solutions for the prevailing societal issues of the country. Over 300 student leaders are encouraged to generate lasting perspectives and trailblazing visions in solving issues of national relevance in collaboration with the great minds from the business sector. There will be open exchanges of ideas in education, technology, gl and global experience and workshops on, on project management. Human resources, finance operations, and marketing will also be conducted to acquaint particip participants this early on, the, on how the business sector works. Delegates will also have an opportunity to mingle with other fellows, event partners, and business tycoons through a lively luncheon dubbed as the Networking Lunch. Y2B, along with the Global Youth Summit, is among the several forums and conferences organized by ISEC to provide the innovators of tomorrow leadership opportunities that instill active societal participation with a global mindset. Witness the innovators of tomorrow converse directly with the world changers of today. Registration is free and will run until October 2013. To register, visit philippinesy2b.com. Want to hear about the latest in technology? Or what about the trending apps? Or even news about your favorite brands? From iPhone to Android, from Xbox to PlayStation, from Mac to PC, we're here to help you become tech savvy. And all you have to do is tune into Techie Angels. We'll make sure to give you your weekly dose of giga-sized info on technology. Hey, Hi, guys. Angels. Hello, Clear Choi. Hey. Hello, Clear Choi. Hi. Hey, guys. Before we talk tech, we're going to introduce another angel. This is Aleha. Say hi, Aleha. Hi. Finally, I'm here at Techie Angel at last. Okay, okay. Um, for my first report, let me introduce to you the breathtaking Dikapak Digital Waterproof Case. Yay, waterproof! Yay. Okay, if you love underwater photography, whether for professional purpose or just for fun, this is now your new best friend. All you have to do is first insert a gadget such as a digital camera in the case and position accordingly second push all the air out third fold parts of the case then seal with the first security velcro then the second velcro and after use don't forget to shake off any water from the case and remove the camera in a ca in a downward direction so there are other cases for slrs tablets and etc Ooh, that's great that they don't stick to only one gadget but how I only wish there could only be a waterproof armored tank, too. <laughs> what? Anyway, their website says to make sure the case isn't damaged before buying it and to test the case by inserting a sheet of tissue and sealing it, then submerging it in water. And if there's no water going in the case, then you're good to go. Oh, keep it away from sharp objects. How much do you think these cost, Kimmy? Based on their website, the price of their products can range from $15 to $50 or higher. So that's around more or less 2,000 pesos here. 
Plus, all the products of Dikapak have passed the JIS IPX8, meaning they passed the Japanese Industrial Standards Test. Groovy, isn't it? So, during the product test, the manufacturers noticed that they can be submerged up to 33 feet. So, any lower, mm -hmm. and you'll experience difficulties. <sighs> Ooh, where can we get one? Well, it's sold in some tourist shops, um, especially in the airport, and at the well-known photographer's lair, Hidalgo Quiapo. If you're talking about getting them there, uh, here, but it's mostly found in USA. The country of its origin is Korea. Ooh, can't wait to get one! You know what that means, girls? Underwater selfies! As much as we'd like to talk more about technology, that's it for today, Tech Angels. Uh, again, I would like to, to introduce ourselves. I'm Aleha, the Big Sis Tech Angel. And Kimmy, the Socialite Techie Angel. And I'm the Crazy But Cute Angel, Micah. So, bye-bye! Bye-bye! On October 18, 2013 in Dumaguete City, about 1,500 high school student government officials are expected to participate in a province-wide youth summit on October 19-20 to 20 in Mabinay Negros Occidental, a nation of heroes organized by the Department of Education in partnership with Gabaan Youth Lead and New Ground Events, is a youth summit geared towards instilling the young minds the values of patriotism and nationalism. Participants from Kanlaon City down to the municipality of Basai are expected to join. The summit's highest highlight is its special guest, Pacholo the Voice Master Gonzalez, a youth advocate to four countries around the world. Gonzalez will speak to the youth of Negros Occidental on nation building and enable the youth to harness the hero within them. The activities in the summit are further divided into two. On Saturday afternoon, the participants will attend a fun-filled self-fruit module called Tatak Selfie. At the end of the activity, the participants will have verified themselves and instill among themselves the belief that they are heroes. At around 6 p.m., there will be a program called Be His Bayani. Each participant and each school will send two representatives, a boy and a girl, to dress up, their, up to their own action figure and school uniform. It will be immediately followed by the Ultimate Bonding Experience Night, or the Ube Night. Sunday morning, there will be a morning devotion and dance exercise. After having been warmed up, the participants will experience Takpo Bayani Filipino, where participants will run around Mabina for the amazing race. The semestral break is fast approaching. Are you ready for the ultimate team building of junior marketers nationwide? Philippine Junior Marketers Association's Governors Leadership Training Summit is coming your way this October 25 to 27 at Paracay Beach Resort, Parak, Pampanga. 99 plus 1 Season 2, Makatao, Maparaan, at Makabayan will surely set your heart ablaze with nationalism as you battle for survival with the different challenges they have in store for you. For 2,500 pesos, get all the fun and adventure for three days including the food, lodging, transportation, tokens, certificates, and the whole lot of experience. For event details, contact Christine Adriel Cruz at pgma.calcruz at gmail.com or at 0905-551-4057. A shot of adventure filled with leadership and the sense of nationality will make those three days an event to remember. Let's welcome our first guest, the founder of Apple Drive Project, a Bag of Dreams Project founder, and also the, the co-founder of Bag 943 Project. Again, let us welcome Mr. RJ Garcia. Right. Okay, I answer. Lagi niyo yeah, earphones natin. <laughs> okay. Just... okay. So sir, kamusta naman po kayo? Okay naman, masaya at masiglang hapon sa lahat ng nakikinig sa yeah. Voice, Voice of the of Youth Radio, Radio Program. Ayan. So ayan, sir, uh, diretsohin na po kita ano. Uh, nakita ko po sa inyong blog is uh, meron po kayong project about this uh, Apple Drive. Mm -hmm. So sir, can you tell us more about this uh, Apple Drive project? Okay, so yung simpleng project na ginagawa namin is called The Apple Drive Project. Yes. Uh, Nag-umpisa ito nung pumunta kami ng mga friends ko for fun mm -hmm. sa Aurora. Mm -hmm. Pumunta kami for travel. Okay. Tapos, yun. Yung unang pinunta namin school, uh, yung mga kids doon never pang nakatikim ng apples. So, yung mansanas, mm -hmm. 
nakikita lang nila doon sa ibabaw ng blackboard kung yeah. saan may letter A. Yeah, simula at, ng alphabet. <laughs> o, oh, okay. may apple. Okay. Tapos yun, dinodrawing lang nila. Pero uh-huh. in, never pa silang nakakatikim ng apple. So yun, mm. sobrang natouch ako. Uh-huh. At yun, tuloy-tuloy na. Uh, after nung December na yun, Febru- come February, Valentine's Day, nakipag-date, instead na makipag-date ako, <laughs> nakipag-date ako sa more than 300 ITA kids wow. sa Malaysia. Yeah. Tapos yun, dire-diretso na. Uh-huh. So sir, uh, bale, gusto ko lang, ay, sa bagay, nasabi mo na rin kanina, pero curious lang talaga ako, bakit sir, apple yung napili mo instead of other fruits? Mm-hmm. Bukod dun sa, yun yung nakikita nila dun sa taas na. <laughs> Para kasi, kunyari, uh, ang isang bata, pagtatanungin siya ng nanay niya, kung ano yung gusto niyang prutas. Mm-hmm. Parang ako nung bata ako, hindi ko sabihin santol, hindi ko papabili santol o payabas. <laughs> Madali lang yung kunin eh. Uh, sabihin ko sa nanay ko, uh, mansanas, kasi para sa akin, yun yung pinaka-fancy yes. na fruit para sa akin. Okay. Tapos yung idea ng ano, Uh, an apple a day keeps mm-hmm. the doctor away. Mm-hmm. Actually, yung pinaka goal o pinaka mission ng Apple Drive project ay yes. ay promote yung ano good health at proper nutrition sa kids and families sa Philippines. Okay, so sir, ano yung nagpupush sa yun? Bukod dun sa mga nakikita mo nga na parang yung mga bata na hindi nakakatikim ng mga ganong putas. Ano yung nagpupush sa yun para ituloy-tuloy yung ganitong proyekto? Kasi di ba volunteer group ah uh, parang volunteerism yung pinap pinapairal mo dito. Mm. So ano yung nag more na nagpupush siya yung para dito. Actually, sa... parang ano eh, passion ko na yun, parang pinakahabi ko na. Instead na manood ako ng movie or mag-mall, parang okay. yung konting pera na mayroon wow. ako. Kahangahan. Uh, yun. Yan. Mag-Apple Drive. Actually now, parang on, uh, ginagawa namin on a weekly basis na eh. Okay. Every time may available time, sinaset na namin kung mm-hmm. uh, kung saan yung event na uh, paggagawa namin ng The Apple Drive Project. Okay. Yes, si Ate Kimi, merong tanong sa'yo. Okay, sige, hi. Sige, so, go. how do you introduce the apples to the kids? Since usually kids don't really eat fruits and veggies. They're more like chips or anything crunchy. Mm-hmm. Actually, ano, since bihira yung, let's say, uh, normally yung pinupunta namin mga lugar mga remote places. So, yes. bihira silang nakakatikim ng mansana. So, mm-hmm. sobrang na-appreciate nila. Uh, parang inumpisa namin, inumpisa namin yung ano, pag, uh, pag uh, sasabi sa kanila ng uh, may, uh, Uh, kami ay from the Apple Day Project at may dala kaming surpresa para sa inyo. Mm-hmm. Hulaan nyo kung anong dala Excited namin. Excited na lahat ng mga bata Ganon. dyan. Tapos pag pinakita namin yung mansana, sobrang sigawan, wow. sigawan sila. Wow. Di ba yung mga ganong simpleng bagay? Yeah. Oo, oh, oh, tama. Uh, itinuturo namin sa kanila kung paano uh, na ano, iwasan nilang kumain ng candies at chocolates. Mm-hmm. So, mas pinopromote namin yung pagkain ng uh, ng gulay at ng prutas kaya ng mansanas mm-hmm. para sa kanila. Kau, Jexy. Sir, ano pa po yung mga projects ng Apple Drive bukod sa pagpapasaya ng mga bat ay tana kids? Mm, actually, nag-start siya apples lang binibigay namin pero mm. ngayon nag-branch out na siya. Mm, wow. Parang symbolism, symbolism na lang yung apple, apple. ngayon. Wow. Since pinopromote namin yung good health and proper nutrition sa kids and mm. families, meron na kami ngayon mga feeding program. Wow. Mayroon din kami... Yung bag, uh, sir, may nakita akong... <laughs> kasama, okay. okay. Uh, meron din yan, meron ah, din yan. Okay. Uh, tawag dito, si Choi, mm-hmm. gagaw- si uh, brother uh, Pucholo, gagawa yes. niya ako ng audio vi- uh, visual presentation kasi wow. madalas meron kaming uh, film showing. Tapos mm-hmm. siya nagpo-provide sa akin ng mga movies. Yes. Speaking mm-hmm. of Sir Choi, nasa Dumaguete siya ngayon, kaya Hi, wala sir. siya. Hi, sir! Hi, yeah, Kuya Choi! Okay. Then, Nanunood yan sa atin. Okay. <laughs> And then, yes, sir? after uh, mayroon din kaming may storytelling. Tapos ngayon, Rick, uh, ginagawa na rin yung Apple, Dra- uh, Apple Boy Comics. Wow! wow. Labas na siya. So, after ng... After ng Apple Drive namin, after ng storytelling, may bibigay kami ng mga comics for kids for free. Wow. Tapos meron ding, ano pa ba? So, nagpa-promote din po kayo ng reading, ano? A reading. Mm-mm. Tapos, um, tinuturan na din namin mga bata ng proper hand washing and afterwards. Mm-hmm. Binibigay na namin sila ng mga personal hygiene kit, mga sabon and all mm-hmm. that. Okay. Yung sa ating, meron, sino pa? Sir, yung Apple Drive, is it exclusive to Aita Kids lang? Ah, uh, hindi. Actually, lahat pwede. Kahit mismo dito sa city, pwede. Basta may promote yung good, uh, yung uh, proper nutrition, good health sa kids. Hindi, wala kaming, ano, walang exclusive, ganun. So, sir, sir so far, sa, gano'ng kalayo na yung lugar na naabot niyo with this mm-hmm. Apple Drive project? Actually, na, hal, marami na eh. More than 40 wow. Apple Drives na yung wow. nagawa ko. Nakapag-Apple Drive na yun ako actually sa Indonesia. Wow. Kasi tar- target din namin uh, yung mga developing countries sa Asia. Mm-hmm. At hopefully sa Africa. Mga basta... May, um, okay. may nag-sponsor po ba sa inyo nung apples na pinamimigay? Or mm-hmm. sariling fund? Sariling fund. Uh, actually, madalas pag nag-sponsor uh, nag, uh, nag, 
nagpo-post kami sa Facebook page namin na mayroon kaming Apple Drive. Yun, marami na nag-initiate, nag-pledge mm. ng ganito. O, sagot ko na yung uh, accommodation, sagot ko na yung rides. Wow. Ito, pledge wow. ko, dalawang boxes ng Apples. Parang ganun. So, so tayo, mm. pwede tayong mag-pledge. Oh. Tayo yung mag-cover. <laughs> tayo yung mag-cover. Oh, okay, mag-cover. Sir, bali, uh, ano nga ba? <laughs> Anong nagsisilbing inspiration sa'yo, sir, na pagpatuloy pa yun? Bukod sa mga bata, nakikita mo na sobrang sa'yo. Sir, actually, napanood ko yung isang video mo sa YouTube na sinabi mo na nung binigyan mo yung isang bata ng Apple, nagsabi ka ng big tatlong apple yung binigay mo for I love you. Uh-huh. And then nagsabi daw yung bata ng I love you too. So, uh-huh. gano'n ka, ano mo yun, parang uh, sobrang gano'n sarap, so, Sobrang sarap ng feeling na after ng, yung, ano, yung mga ginagawa mo, sobrang, mm-hmm. uh, after ng lisay, uh, buong araw na, ano, uh-huh. Mapa- makakapagod din yun. Yun, no? yun. Sobrang sulit sa pakiramdam uh-huh. na, yun, mm-hmm. mga kar- na, sobrang na-appreciate nila yung munting bagay yes. na ginagawa, ginagawa mo para sa kanila. Okay. So, uh, mga katinig sa lahat na nakikinig sa atin, uh, si Sir RJ is our co-host for today. So, kaya siya nandito sa trono ni Jeka. <laughs> yes, nandiyan siya. Basta siya na hindi ako magaling. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wala yun, sir, sa... Pagdalatok kasi ako. Sa galing, galing. Matigas, sure. matigas yung accent ko. <laughs> okay lang, sir. Kami nga, sir. <laughs> well, sir, uh, bale, ano po yung message na lang na masasabi mo sa mga nakikinig sa atin na kung, kung gusto nilang sum- sumali sa project niyo? Mga interested po. Oh, mga interested. You know, actually, uh, Uh, lagi kong sinasabi pag may talk ako na mm-hmm. lahat tayo ay mayroong kapabalid- kapabalidad mm-hmm. capability na, na gumawa ng mabuti para sa iba. Uh, hindi kailangan maging mayaman Tama. o maging sikat. Mm-hmm. Hindi yan actually so kung anong status mo sa buhay. Uh, lahat ta- kahit ordinary ng tao uh, may, may ma- mayroon, uh, mayroong magagawang mabuti mm-hmm. para sa kanyang kapwa. Uh, yun nga, uh, we can always be parang, we can always be uh, Uh, ordinary and great at the same time. Yes, yeah, so That's right. dahil nga dyan. So, sa lahat po ng interesado, may uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, para Facebook, po. Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com slash uh, AppleboyRJ. Wow, Apple yung Facebook Boy. page namin. Then, yung may... blog site ko, it's uh, www.appleboy rj.com parang parang gusto ko din mag ganyan <laughs> ako naman ako naman si ano si siya si apple boy mm. o si boy bawang <laughs> <laughs> okay dahil diyan ako napapasarap pang usapan namin sir uh, dahil ikaw ang co-host ko ngayon uh, free ka sa lahat ng tanong sa mga ganyang bagay dapat natin pinagyayabang yung mga ganyan kasi mm. magandang uh, ano yan eh uh, parang advocacy, advocacy. So, dahil diyan saktong sakto meron tayong guest from yabang pinoy okay <laughs> So, palakpakan natin sila muna. <laughs> Hello po. Hello, Hello po. Si Sir Hi. Dan uh, and uh, si Sir Ali. Ali. Uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Magandang, magandang hapon. Maraming salamat sa DZIQ 990 AM yes. at uh, sa, syempre sa Voice of the Youth yes, sir. Uh, radio pa sa pag-ibita sa amin ngayong hapon. Nagpapasalamat din po kami at nakarating kaya dito sa booth namin. So, mm-hmm. Sir, tell us more about Yabang Pinoy. Okay, ah. Uh, Ali. Sige, mauna na ako. No? Yes, sir. Basically, ang Yabang Pinoy ay isang Filipino Pride movement na sinimula noong 2005 by young, idealistic, um, nationalistic individuals na uh, pakiramdam nila noong panahon na yun ay um, pwede pang pag-alabin ang pagmamahal natin sa pagiging okay. Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At um, yun, yun ang gusto nilang mangyari, maging shouting proud Filipinos ang ang mga kabataan at ang mga Pilipino at simula noon hanggang ngayon meron kami mga programa at mga proyekto mm. na ginagawa wow. para i-promote ang Filipino culture, yes. Filipino products and services. Mm-hmm. So all facets ng mm-hmm. mga Filipino lifestyle talaga yung ina-target namin. Ngayon baka may tatanong niyo bakit mm-hmm. yabang ba- Pinoy? Oh, bakit yabang? Kasi, kasi di ba napaka mm-hmm. negative ng connotation ng sinabi yabang. Ng yabang mm-hmm. Iba na kagad yung impact. Hindi naman kami mayabang. Ay, yes, sir. Hindi, hindi, hindi naman sir. <laughs> Nilulugar ang yabang. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pero ayun nga Uh, unang-una, pinili nung grupo na to na binu- nagbuo nung, ng Yabang Pinoy nung 2005 ang term na Yabang dahil um, di ba, uh, ang may negative connotation ito eh, pero wala tayong term din talaga for for right. pride eh. Yes, yeah. sa Tagalog. Di ba, kulang si ACP nyo muna, parang meron. wala tayong <laughs> parang wala. walang kick eh, walang, walang kick eh. Uh-huh. So, eto, parang may sinasabi rin tong yabang, yung term na Yabang Pinoy sa grupo eh. Dahil mm. parang isa rin sa mga thrust namin, yung turning something negative to, to positive. Mm. ba diba? So, ne- may negative na connotation tong yabang. yabang, pero pwede mo siyang gawing positibo. Tsaka catchy siya. And oh. very catchy uh-huh. siya. And may, makukuha ka agad yung attention mo. Ah, bakit Yabang ba yan? Yabang. Oh, diba? 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 Pero yung Yabang... Actually, ako po nung una. 
Diba? Yeah, Inaamin ko. Inaamin ko. Diba? Sabi ni Sir Choi, from Yabang Pinoy. Sabi siya, Yabang Pinoy. Sabi siya sa <laughs> Pero, ano, internet. Yung, yung nga siya sabi namin parati, hindi mayabang. Mm. May yabang. Yeah, yeah. Diba? So, yun. Okay, ibang bagay yun. Marami, alam, lang, alam, alam lang namin, alam natin lahat na marami tayong may pagyayabang talaga. Na, bilang, na, bilang, bilang mga Pilipino, Pilipino. Mm-hmm. ang Pilipinas, napakarami nating pwedeng ipagmayabang yes. kultura natin mm-hmm. yung bansa mm-hmm. yung mga tao yes, yung, lalo, na. La, lalong lalo na rin yung mga oh, gawang Pilipino mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, then tayo marami yung marami tayo doon like, mga advocacy pa yes. natin dito yes, syempre yung katulad ng Apple Drive diba? mm-hmm. maraming there's a wealth of resources dito sa Pilipinas hindi namin sinasabi na kailangan magaling ka magtagalog para maging yabang Pinoy mm-hmm. ka sa totoo lang yung mga founder <laughs> ng yabang Pinoy ano sila eh um, mga English English pero sila <laughs> kasama po ba nila si Kim kasama nila si Kim <laughs> yung techie angels natin kanina <laughs> oh, pero, pero pero silang sila pa mismo talaga yung mis- yung oh. nagpo-push na Pilipino tayo mm-hmm. pag mayabang natin marami tayong pwedeng uh, ipakita sa mundo mm-hmm. at na- napaka world class ng Pilipinas mm-hmm. bakit tayo may hi at bakit natin uunahin pa ang mga Iba. banyaga oh, oh, kung dito man naman sa Pilipinas marami na tayong ganun Katulad ng mga laro. Yan ang mm-hmm. nakita ko dun sa website ninyo. Eh. Ah, kasi kasama yan sa, oh. white, sa framework ng Yabang Pinoy. Kung mm-hmm. paano namin, uh, syempre meron kami advocacy. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, paano mo ito ibibigay sa, sa mga tao? Ang framework ng Yabang Pinoy, tatlo yan. Sa isip, sa salita, at sa gawa. Okay. Familiar ba kayo doon? Oh, Familiar kayo. Marinig ko na yun. Pag-umaga sinapa. Pag-umaga sinapa. Pag-umaga sinapa. Panata yun ng, ano, ng Yabang Pinoy. Okay. Na lahat ng aspeto ng buhay natin, susubukin natin ano, uh, damayan na Mayabang talaga tayo, Pinoy tayo. Ngayon, yes. kami bilang uh, youth advocacy group, ang tina-target natin is yung mga yung mga ano, mga nag-aaral pa, mga estudyante, mm-hmm. high schools, colleges. Bakit? Sila yung future ano eh, influential people sa Pilipinas. Tama. Like kayo yun, kayo yung future. Wow. Tayo pala yun. Tayo. 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 Voice of the youth. So, so yun, yun, yun niya. Kung, kung maaga pa lang, eh, may infuse mo na to sa mga bata. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pagtanda nila, mm-hmm. ganun na rin sila sa buhay Tama. nila, sa trabaho nila, sa mga decision nila sa buhay. Especially, yung mga, kaya, kaya yung mga estudyante na sa college. Okay. Eventually magkakaroon kayo ng trabaho. Mm-hmm. Meron na kayong buying power. Mm-hmm. At yung 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 pera ninyo kung saan napupunta yan sa Banyagang brand, sa Filipino brand. Yan na nakik- nakakapag-impluwensya kung aangat o bababa ang Ay, ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Yes. At dito papasok actually yung uh, proyekto namin na PH Made. B- What's this? Okay. PH Made is um, actually advocacy siya na let's uh, uh, ano to? Um tangkilikin ang gawang Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm na marami tayo the Filipino is worth buying for yes buying for okay. ikaw na lang copywriter namin <laughs> <laughs> um, yan yung PH may hindi lang din sa yun pagtangkilik sa sa sariling atin in encourage din ito na yung mga kabataan or ang mga Pilipino mag-isip din at magsimula ng sarili nilang Uh-oh. negosyo, magsimula ng sarili nilang produkto. So, mm-hmm. both ways, di ba? Yun yung, yung oh, nag-benefit. Ini-encourage so, natin ng ano, entrepreneurship. Yung oh, spirit yes. ng entrepreneurship sa Pilipinas. Kasi for the longest time, na pasok sa atin yung banyagang pag-iisip mm-hmm. na para, para umangat ka sa buhay, kailangan mag-aaral na mabuti, mm-hmm. magkarap na magbabuti ng magandang trabaho, at magstay doon. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. hindi naman sinasabi, namin sinasabi na masama yun. Mm-hmm. In fact, okay nga yun. Pero para sa amin, maganda rin na gumawa ka ng paraan para pagbutihin mo yung buhay mo. Tama. Meron kang trabaho, I'm sure meron kang passion. Mm-hmm. May mga kaibigan tayo mahilig mag-drawing, uh-huh. mahilig, mahilig sa passion, yan. mahilig sa sports. Yes. Ilagay mo yung, yung energy mo, yung nalabas pa sa trabaho mo, doon sa ganong passion. At pag, pagbutihin mo yung craft mo. Kasi yan, kapag na-channel mo na maayos, nabigyan ka ng tamang pagkakataon at ng tamang mga connection, mm-hmm. magagawa mong... Ano yan eh? Mag- lahat yan magiging world class. Hmm. Actually, nakakatuwa lang, sir. Kasi, uh, nung estudyante pa ako, na simple yung estudyante lang ako at hindi pa ako nandito, na- nandito sa Voice of the Youth, hindi ko alam na may mga ganitong pro- uh, pro- <laughs> mga uh, org pala, mm-hmm. mga uh, project na ginagawa katulad ng Apple Drive, katulad ng Yabang Pinoy. And now, dito sa Voice of the Youth, uh, nabibigyan sila lalo ng exposure para mm-hmm. ma- malaman ng mas ma- nakararami na pwede silang maging involved mm-hmm. sa mga ganitong uri ng uh, Pro- proyekto mm-hmm. katulad ng Yabang Pinoy, di ba? Apple job, nakakabigla din kasi parang isipin mo yun, naisip mo ba na magbigay ng Apple kahit tinapay man lang sa bata na nasa harap mo? Para sa atin kasi ano yun eh, taken for granted. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. Di ba? 
at siguro sa sa mga tao na sa posisyon natin, mm-hmm. Filipino pride din natin pinag-iisipan niyan mm-hmm. eh. Karamihan sa atin, oo, oh, ganyan tayo mag-isip. Mm-hmm. Pero paano yung mga ibang tao? Mm-hmm. Tama. So, yun, ang goal nga namin, yun, may mga parang, ano eh, uh, meron namang Filipino pride, pero hindi naman nila na-express. So, mm-hmm. isang avenue itong okay. Yabang Pinoy para sa kahit sino na may anumang talento na, na ibahagi ito sa iba at may pagmalaki ito sa iba. ba diba? So, yun, ang goal namin, maging shouting proud Pinoys wow. ang mga Pilipino. So, sa po mga programa yes, na ginagawa sir. namin, marami kami marami kaming ano, um, partners, partner schools. Mm-hmm. So, recent, um, yung pinaka- Ano ba, crowning jewel namin na ginagawa yes. is with the UP, yung Todo Patentero. Oh, nakita ko yan, sir. Oo. Yung <laughs> parang haba-haba nung Oo. larong yun. So, so, alam, ay, alam naman natin yung larong patentero. Yes. Oh. Oh. Or, or yan. yung mga kabataan siguro ngayon, may hindi mga na. ibang hindi na nakakalaro. So, mm. Walang patentero sa iPad. Isang malaking celebration <laughs> ito ng, <laughs> ng Filipino game. Isang oh. Filipino game na mahal na mahal natin, ang patentero. Mm-hmm. At ang goal namin... Gawin ang Gawin pinakamalaki, ang pinakamahabang, pinakamahabang, pinakamahabang wow. na simultaneous na naglalaro. Wow. At nagawa namin yun, siguro one-fourth ng, ng o- UP Oval, wow. sabay-sabay wow. na naglalaro. Na lang. Isasali ba yan wow. sa Guinness? <laughs> Posible eh. Okay. Wala pang record, pero yeah, tayo na yun. Mm. Ang goal nga namin, ipasara yung buong Ayala Avenue oh. para <laughs> maglalaro lang Astig ng patintero. Oh. Gamitin natin yung Actually, word Astig. Actually, nung sumali kami doon, Siyempre, mga, mga nagtatrabaho na kami doon, kalaban namin mga college students. <laughs> Talagang galit na galit kami kasi... Nag-champion sila. Iba na, pamilya niya kasama niya. Paano yung patintero, sir? Uh, putol-putol din siya, pero putol, isang direksyon. Putol-putol, iwahiwalay uh, na. Ah, na Imagine ko hanggang sa dulo yung tatakbuhin nila. Ah. One on one on one on one on one on one. Simultaneous <laughs> lang. Oh, okay. Okay. So, isang isang example lang ito, no, na, mm-hmm. na parte ng Filipino culture mm-hmm. itong... Uh, patintero. Lalo na sa amin ng mga probinsyano. Oh. Diba? Galang Isa pang <laughs> ginagawa namin is Pinasport. Ano siya? Pinasport. Part, part siya ng online magazine namin mm-hmm. which is yung MagYP. MagYP, everything Filipino. Mm-hmm. Pero yung regular column, Pinasport, ang ginagawa namin is uh, tumupunta kami sa iba't ibang tourist location, tourist spots dito sa Pilipinas. Okay. Tapos, pinifeature namin siya sa online magazine. Mm-hmm. Pero ang dito, instead of using celebrities, mm-hmm. kayo man, may, marami tayo nakikita mga travel ah. shows sa celebrity yung, ano, yung focal point. Dito, yung, yung bayani is yung lugar talaga. Mm-hmm. So, um, lahat yung makikita nyo sa website namin, yabangpinay.com. Yes. Kompleto rin kami ng social media, uh, Account. Facebook, Account. Twitter, Actually, Instagram. Actually, ang gaganda nga sir ng mga title ng mga project. Katulad ng bucket list. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, bucket. Ang, ang daming dapat ipagyabang. Oo, oh, 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 talaga yeah. sir. Yeah. Bakit, ano ba yan? Bakit hindi mo itry mag-post sa Twitter at Facebook ng Tagalog para sa isang buong linggo? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bakit nga ba? Oh, ganyan, di ba? Oh, eh, wow. Actually, may ideya na yan. Ang galing lang din sa isang estudyante na oh. nag-volunteer sa amin. Wow. Na, imbis na magkaroon ng bucket list na yung... yung Bakit? Bakit nga? Bakit hindi magkaroon ng bucket? list uh, na mas Filipino-oriented siya. Uh, ang kaya rin gusto namin nakipagtrabaho sa mga sudyante at sa mga tao, sa mga ano, kabataan is sobrang dami yung ideas. Mm-hmm. Kaya, and hindi, very open oh, ang Yabang Pinoy as venue may tanong, para ipag... Yes, may tanong kayo? I really like that idea about uh, posting Tagalog things as your status <laughs> and your needs. <laughs> I should do that. Oh, but <laughs> diba? So I'm gonna diba? try it tonight. Oh, <laughs> okay. So bayan mo yung mga ano namin, diba yung mga projects natin. namin sa Yabang Pinoy. And I'm sure mag enjoy ka. Mm-hmm. Marami kang matutuhan, matututuhan about yourself. Sige po. Diba? <laughs> Jexy, ikaw. Ano, nakakatuwa lang yung Yabang Pinoy. Hindi kasi ako aware na may Yabang Pinoy actually. Pero mm-hmm. nakakatuwa kasi hindi lang to para sa mga foreigners, mm-hmm. pati sa ating mga kabataan na hindi aware na may ganito tayong mm-hmm. klaseng kagandang culture, na may Na may gantong mga games na dapat aware tayo, lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi napalaki na Filipino orientation. Yes, and na dapat i-preserve. Kasi, di ba, actually, natawa nga ako doon sa isang picture na nakita ko na parang kung ipapakita mo doon yung negative sa isang bata, sa isang eh, seven years old ngayon or six years old, hindi na nila alam mm. kung para saan yung negative na yan. Mm. Di ba? Kasi alam nila, digital na lahat. Mm. So, mga ganitong bagay na dapat nating ipagpatuloy katulad ng advocacy ng Yabang Pinoy. Sir, any way na para makonta kayo or para ma-join? Maka, maka, oh, volunteer. Maka, oh. Oh, okay, so yung main channel talaga namin is yung Facebook account which yes. is uh, 24-7 yan active mm-hmm. parating may admin yan. Uh, yes. Facebook.com slash Yabang Pinoy. Okay. Yeah, from, pero is, pwede i-search na lang hindi ko sa mm-hmm. si URL. Yabang Pinoy. Sa Twitter naman at Yabang Pinoy. Uh, Instagram at Yabang Pinoy. Yabangpinoy.com okay. Tapos, um, marami kasi ka, maraming ways para mm-hmm. makasali sa amin. Just send us a message on, sa lahat ng social media accounts and we'll get 
to you, ang gusto ta namin talaga is to infiltrate lahat ng school sa Pilipinas. Wow. Yun yung, pina, yung pinaka vision namin is lahat ng Pilipinas, uh, lahat ng eskwela sa Pilipinas ay magkaroon ng kahit isang yabang Pinoy project. Mm-hmm. Kasi doon nagsisimula yun. Eh. Kapag naging aware ka doon sa organization, mga curious ka. Uh-huh. Pag na-curious ka, gusto mo sumali. Pag sumali ka, ngayon, ikaw na mismo yung mag mag initiate oh. nung ano actually sumali ako dito dahil sumali siya wow. <laughs> so mukha- dinala 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 ko sa school itong oh, yabang siya yung pinakaunang yabang pinay advocate sa atin eh wow tapos e, e, ako kabarkada actually masaya masaya talaga yung naging event namin doon isa pang example ng ng activities na ginagawa namin sa sa skwela yung magyabangan tayo debate mm-hmm. Eh, 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 ang, at ito naman di ba may, meron tayong balagtasan mm-hmm. dati mm-hmm. traditional yun tapos ginawa namin mas ginawa lang namin moderno at mas mas kwela okay. so nangyayari may dalawang grupo lang ng mga estudyante at magtatalo sila sa mga pinakasimpleng bagay parang rap battle parang rap battle na hindi kayo nag-rap okay pero uh-huh. pinagtatalulan lang kunyari anong mas okay Um, sumakay sa jeep o sumakay sa tricycle. So, mga ganun. Filipino pa rin yung topic. Oh. Filipino topic pa rin, pero, pero mga maliliit. Oh. Tabo o shower. Mga ganun. Wow. <laughs> ang kulit, no? ang kulit. Diba? So, pagtatalunan nila yon and nakakatuwa lang siyang mm-hmm. activity, pero mm-hmm. sa totoo lang, nai-infuse nyo sa, na, di ba, nakakaroon ng venue para pag-usapan to ng mga bata mm-hmm. nang hindi nila napapansin at hindi mo, hindi mo sinusubo sa kanila, di ba? Hindi mo mm-hmm. pinipilit. Kasi sila mismo yung nag-i-enjoy. Oo, oh, at nare-realize nila na, wow, ang saya palang pag-usapan. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya pala ng kultura natin. Ang maganda rin kasi sa, sa Yabang Pinoy, kasi napapalawak niyo yung meaning ng Yabang. Diba? Diba? Nakaka- Nagagamit niyo sa iba't ibang uh, aspeto Uh-oh. na hindi lang puro pag- negative. 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 Nagagamit niyo rin siya sa positive. So, RJ, ikaw, sir, may any thoughts? So, or? ito na yung pinakamalaking proyekto na nagawa ng ano, Yabang um, Pinoy. Actually, yung pinaka Uh, baby ng Yabang Pinoy na nangyayari kada taon actually ibitahin namin lahat nakikinig ngayon mm-hmm. kayo na rin ang Global Pinoy Bazaar ng Yabang Pinoy okay, okay. ito yung kumbaga sa thesis ito yung application ng thesis namin mm-hmm. na PH made dito yon mm-hmm. lahat ng binibenta dito is uh, proudly Pinoy made and we're supporting local industries talaga Okay. Sa tingin ko, very unique itong bazaar na to Kasi alam naman natin, marami tayong pinupunta ang mga bazaar all year long. Ano? Ito lang, ang special about Global Pinoy Bazaar, siya lang yung all Filipino all Filipino products ang featured mm. dito. So, okay. venue siya for mga uh, Filipino entrepreneurs yes. na i-showcase Start yung, ups, yung ideas nila and yung Pro, yung mga produkto nila. And nagiging celebration siya eh, ng... Uh, ng artist uh, ng craftsmanship ng Pilipino. Kasi sobrang gaganda na makikita niyo ano doon mga produkto. I'm sure yung mga girls matutuwa. Mm-hmm. Kasi kalahati doon fashion para sa bago. At nagtatagal talaga sa mga It's on November 23 to 24, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. sa Rockwell Tent in Makati. Okay. Um, everyone's invited Mark to come. Mark your calendars na. Yes, yes. Okay. Any last... Uh, words. Hindi, <laughs> 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 para uh, masasabi niyo sa mga tagapakinig natin na magyabang. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh, sa totoo, kami kasi, ano eh, we're, more on we're, we're doers talaga eh. Mm-hmm. Pumunta kayo sa Yabang Pinoy page and if you see what you like, contact us. Yeah. Uh, if you like what you see pala. Well, if you like mm-hmm. what you, like what you see, okay. give us a call. Kasi, we'd like to really, ano eh, show ourselves to you guys. Kasi, iba yung nakikita mo lang sa social media, mm-hmm. billboard yan eh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ano lang yan, advertisement lang yan eh. Kami talaga, gusto namin na gawin yan para sa inyo. Mm. I- i- iba yung nag- nagiging involved ka dun mm. sa isang proyekto, sir. Okay. Uh, dahil ako, medyo okay na. Okay, sir. Oh. May mga misasabihin pa ako. Ako, siguro, kaya? last na lang. Okay. Uh, siguro, ano, may random idea lang. Pero parang tayo, iba-iba ng, iba-ibang uh, individuals tayo na may mm-hmm. kanya-kanya tayong specialization. Nasa okay. iba't ibang fields tayo. Pero yung nagbabind sa ating lahat, yung pagiging Filipino natin. Tama. And mahalaga sigurong ma- maisa-isip, maisa-puso at, at may mag- maisagawa oh, okay. yung, yung pagiging Filipino natin at magiging, uh, in, ano siya eh, magiging laganap siya kung sama-sama natin mm. siyang ginagawa. Dahil dyan, gusto kong sabihin na mayabang ako. Yeah. <laughs> mayabang ka. Ay, may mayabang. Mayabang. mayabang ka. Okay. Sir, maraming maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Salamat niya sa amin. Maraming salamat. Lakon natin sila. Okay, si Sir uh, Dan and Sir Ali for from uh, Yabang Pinoy. Ayan, naku, napakaganda Thank naman you. talaga. Sir, maraming maraming salamat po, sir. Ang sarap sa pakinandam, no? Oo. Oh, so, grabe, na, sir. Marang first time kung makita, makakinig, makausap ng mga tao na talagang may ginagawa na, alam mo yun, may, may, may direction sila sa gusto nilang punta. Katulad nyo, sir, katulad nila, and marami pang iba. Okay. 
Sir, dahil dito, meron pa tayong isa pang guest. Wow! Talaga naman, punong-puno tayo dito sa... <laughs> sa booth. Okay. Punong-puno tayo dito sa booth. So, ngayon, papakilala na natin ang ating uh, third guest. Let's welcome our third guest, the President and CEO of Field Chai Media Productions Incorporated. He is also in charge of conceptualizing the TV show Chinoy TV. Let us welcome Mr. Alvin Tan. Wow! Okay, iba naman to si Sir Alvin naman to from uh, Chinoy TV. Ayan. Sir. Hi Sir, magandang araw po sa inyo Sir. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon po. Uh, kamusta naman po kayo Sir? Um, okay naman, mabuti. <laughs> si Sir RJ nga po, kanina nagkikwentuhan na kayo din sa <laughs> So, Sir, uh, kamusta naman? Uh, you're part of Chinoy TV po. Ayan. So, can you tell us more about Chinoy TV naman, Sir? Um, actually, yung um, Chinoy TV, it's a um, one-hour lifestyle magazine yes. show na in-air namin sa Net25 mm-hmm. every Sunday, 10.30 in the morning. So, in-start namin to three years ago with the objective na maging bridge between Filipinos and Chinese. So gusto wow. namin mapakita yung um, culture mm-hmm. ng, ba, ng ng two uh, two um, dalawang um, magkaibang, magkaibang lahi. lahi. Okay. So ganun yung nakikita namin because we feel na both um, yung Chinese culture malaki yung impact rin mm-hmm. sa sa Philippines. So gusto yes. namin uh, magkaroon ng ano, parang bridge between okay. the two. Dahil yan sir, may kakilala ako marunong mag uh, Chinese. Mandarin, Chinese. Ah, ano ba? Uh, nagpa-practice siya kanina, sir. <laughs> Pinaghahanda niya. Sir. Oh, go go oh king. May gusto siyang sabihin sa iyo in Mandarin. Ah. Ni hao chun shan sheng. Natigilan tayo doon, hindi natin. Pwede mo sabihin sa amin kung ano ibig sabihin. Um basically I just told him in proper in the polite form i told him hello hello <laughs> yes because okay. sir i'm st- currently taking up mandarin in confucius institute mm. so i even asked my laosher to help me <laughs> i see cool. okay sir nakita namin dun sa inf- uh, information sa bulsa na nagpo-promote din po kayo ng youth entrepreneurship yeah yes. um actually last year we launched a business reality show with go negosyo wow. with wow. um with um josiah goff man smith who mm-hmm. came up with a Um, para siyang ano um, parang reality pero geared towards entrepreneurship so pinapakita mm. namin yung iba-ibang aspect ng business and then nililink namin yung mga negosyanteng Chinoy dun sa mga kasalig mga participants mm. so pero ang for this year actually ang gagawin namin actually yung ipopromote din namin um, okay, sir. we're launching a Chinoy talent reality search. Mm. So we're launching that by November. So actually, <laughs> may dalawang, Chinoy daw Chinese din. <laughs> <laughs> so, dalawang division siya. Isang for Chinoy, isang non-Chinoy. Ang uh, oh. kapartner okay. namin dito si Ateneo, Ateneo Confucius, uh-huh. wow. si Star Records and wow. Venice Saturno Training wow. Center. So ang objective namin, kasi di ba karamihan ng Chinoy, pag sa mong Chinoy, apuro negosyante lang yan. <laughs> so, so gusto namin mabigyan ng opportunity yung mga kabataang Chinoy na gustong Uh, mag-pursue ng career long term sa performing arts na pwede nilang tahakin to na hindi lang puro negosyo. So, ganun yung, ganun yung nakita namin. So, we're coming up with an audition sa November 10 ng November afternoon 10. sa Lucky Chinatown. Mm-hmm. So, we'll have an audition there. And then, starting um, November hanggang January sa Chinese New Year, mm-hmm. dun tatakbo yung competition. So, mm-hmm. we're airing that also dun sa uh, before Chinoy TV. Okay. Sir, sir, may... Are you in, 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 uh, uh, connected with uh, Sir Ching Kitan? Um, he's one of our ano, kumbaga, resource person din na. Oh, wow. he's, Bas- a, he's a good friend. Ah, yes, yeah, sabi ko nga, sir. Nakita, nung, nung natanong ka nga nung kaibigan ko, sir, na kung... <laughs> Kala niya kasi yung si Chiquita. <laughs> Actually, sir, si Kimi, may gusto ko ngayon tanong. Um, with regard to your talents po, what do you look for in them? Um, actually, right now, with with the current talents that we have, um, ang tin- unang tinitingnan namin is yun nga, kung yung capability nila makapag-speak na multilingual language. Mm. So, wow. kaya ba nilang mag- Nag-aaral na siya. <laughs> <laughs> May one point na siya. May one point na siya. <laughs> so, yun yung very important sa amin because um, normally, yung viewer kasi namin medyo diverse. Mm-hmm. May uh, traditional Chinese, mm-hmm. may hindi rin. So, kailangan mak- nakapag- Um, English, Filipino, and then oh. konting Mandarin. Okay. Wow, pasok siya dun ah. <laughs> Ikaw talaga yung pinupush ko dun. No. I have to work on my Filipino pa. <laughs> ah, okay. So, so ikaw, ikaw, Isha, do you have uh, any question? Kanina, sir, uh, uh, let's t- mo- talk more about this Chinay TV naman po. Kanina, from uh, Yabang Pinoy, ngayon naman, iba- ibang klaseng Pinoy naman to, may halong Chinese naman, di ba, pansin mm-hmm. nyo. So, sir, ano po bang uh, fini-feature ng Chinay TV? Um, sa Chinay TV, it's a lifestyle show. 
So, nag-feature kami ng successful na Chinoy. So, mm. mapa businessman, artista. Mm. Nakita wow. mo pa doon so, si Cian Lim. Mm. So, yun, <laughs> iba-ibang artista. Nakita mo, <laughs> tinignan mo talaga. Panood ko. <laughs> ah, <binanood. laughs> okay. And then, uh, we also feature mga restaurant, mm-hmm. um, places, so, fashion. So, in, in, uh, para siyang ano, lifestyle talaga. Everything and anything about Filipino-Chinese lifestyle. So, yun yung feature namin doon. Nakapanood po ako nun once in. And nakita ko po parang ang ganda ng ambience ng show kasi parang ang lively lang, chill-chill lang. And pinapakita nga po yung uh, Chinese-Filipino culture. And, yeah. uh, Sir, how, how do you engage uh, youth sa Chinoy TV? Na... Um, right now kasi kapartner din namin yung mga field chai or youth orgs oh. ng iba-ibang universities. Mm-hmm. So normally, pag may mga events sila sa mga school orgs nila, so mm-hmm. kinocover namin yon we come in as a media partner. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, Aside from that, um, nga, uh, we, we also give them inputs pag may mga kailangan sila related sa production. Mm. Pero yung pinaka, um, pinaka-focus namin talaga na campaign for youth yes. is yung Chinoypreneur mm. na, na ano namin. Na Chinoypreneur. Can you expand po? Um, Chinoypreneur kasi di ba maraming preneur-preneur eh. So, yeah. isip namin, um, Chinoy. came up with the Chinoypreneur because yun nga, once you say Chinoy, the first thing that comes into your mind is negosyante. Mm. So, sabi namin, sige, let's come up with the Chinoypreneur and then it's it's our way of gathering yung mga successful na Chinoy businessmen and then nakakapag-impart sila ng uh, experiences nila, ng knowledge in terms of yung dun sa, dun sa Chinoypreneur. So, last year, we came up with a one-day negosyo workshop. Mm-hmm. So, we invited mga college students Although, uh, this year, hindi, hindi namin siya nagawa. Most probably, by next year pa namin siya gagawin. Ang ganda, no? Kasi nakapagsimula na ng maaga yung mga katulad natin yes. na mga college student. So, lahat tayo dito used. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, do you have any questions? So, yung po sa, ano, sa reality show, na, ano po yun? Parang PBB or um, AIR? Um, oh, actually, PBB. AIR namin siya. So, it would run from uh, November all the way to January. So, AIR namin siya. It's a, thir- it's a new 30-minute program that wow. we're launching. Mm. Because kaka-celebrate lang kasi namin na third year. So, mm-hmm. in celebration of our third year, naisip namin, sige, gawa tayo ng panibagong show, 30-minute show. And then, yeah, we partnered with the different part, yung mga sila Star Records. And then, the winner of the competition gets a recording contract from Star Records. Wow. Wow. And then, they get, they get they also get an original composition from Mr. Benny Saturno. Wow. So, yun yung, yun yung, yun yung pinaka-per... Right. Hmm. Ano sa lahat, yun? Sa lahat? Mm-hmm. Um, yung ano niya, yung range niya, um, for male... Um, it's 16 to 25 years old. Mm-hmm. And Yous. then for female, it's 14 to 23 years old. Pasok pa ako, kasi hindi ako Chinoy. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, dalawa yung division. May isang Chinoy division. Then mm-hmm. the second one is for non chinois mm-hmm. na may basic. For example, nag-aaral nga sa atin na yung Confucius. Ayun na may lang. basic lang. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pala limited lang sa, uh, sa mga Chinoy talaga. Uh, um, yeah. Open din para uh, sa iba. Open din siya sa lahat. Okay, sir, ikaw. Uh, may gusto kang itanong sa ating uh, guest about uh, Chinoy. Actually, ang ganda, totoo ba, sir, na yung mga Chinoy parang mas, kumbaga, di ba, yung Chinese nga, matipid na sila sa pera, ayun, talaga pinapahalagahan nila. And yung Pinoy din, may, may, may konting pagkaganda nila. So, pag naghalo daw yung Chinoy, as in kada maliliit na bariya sa mga wallet nila, binibilang pa rin talaga nila. Tama po ba yung, nabasa ko lang naman dito sa isang vlog. Um, actually, yung mga Chinoy, yun yan, nasabi nila very, very particular, mm-hmm. very detailed. Pero, syempre, yun yung mga traditional kasing Chinese. Pero, mm. I think, ang naging, nangyayari kasi ngayon, habang nagiging mas bata yung generation, nawawala na ng konti Chinese culture. Actually, yun yung isang advocacy namin sa Chinoy mm-hmm. TV na ma-relieve yung mga, mga magagandang um, um, practices and culture ng mga ano, mas, mas traditional na Chinese. Yeah, yeah, one thing I, I admire most sa mga Chinese people, oh, yes, sir. sobrang sipag nila. Mm. Sobrang hard Wala naman tayo masasabi doon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. And sir, uh, any, paano, nyo, paano po ba kami namin kayo makukontak? And, uh, um, actually, for our, meron kaming Facebook fan page. Facebook so, yung fan page namin is Chinoy TV Official. Mm-hmm. And then, they can also visit yung website namin, www.chinoy.tv. Okay. Then, we also have a Twitter, Chinoy TV. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, sa lahat ng uh, mga katinig natin dyan, ano, tutok lang kayo sa Net25. Yeah, it's Net25. It's, every, uh, anong oras po um, Every Sunday, 10.30 in the morning. Then, we have replays ng Tuesdays, 11pm okay. and Saturdays. So, 10:30. ikaw rin yung nag-host ng ano program ay hindi ano be behind the camera oh, right. ah, yeah. siya yung utak <laughs> di ba so sir uh, ano pa ba ano po mong masasabi niyo sa mga kabataan na nakikinig ngayon ng mga Chinoy kahit hindi Chinoy ano pong message niyo para um, sa siguro yung message lang is um, kasi like sa amin um, 
we we um yung we pride yung Chinoy TV for being innovative. Yes. Um, as you can see um so far um yun yung unang TV show for the Filipino Chinese and then hindi rin kami tumitigil sa pag-innovate. So we mm-hmm. you know we we started Chinoy Premier and then right now we're launching a talent search. So um dahil hindi kami kasi yung kalakihan naman ng mga bigger network. So mm-hmm. we felt na as, as a small player we have to keep on innovating and we have okay. to keep on taking risks. So wow. yun yung yun yung um I think yun yung kaibahan namin. So of course hindi naman lahat ng mga risk na ginawa namin nag-pay off but at mm-hmm. the end of the day meron kaming natu- may, may, meron kaming learnings mm-hmm. dun sa mga uh, ginawa namin si Ate Kimi uh, do you have any message wala na actually sir uh, gusto ko yung talent search yes. <laughs> <laughs> meron nang chinoy naman pasok ka pa rin uh, well, I mean parang ang ganda kasi nung idea na di ba hindi nga lang talaga puro business I mean talented din sila katulad ng iba I mean uh. Yun na ba, naghalo pa. Yung utak nila, yung mindset nila, parang pag nanalo sila dito, di ba? <laughs> parang magagawa nila, magagamit nila sa isang negosyo or something, na ganyan. And uh, sir, maraming maraming salamat kasi bin- binahagi nyo sa lahat ng mga tagapakinig natin na kahit anong lahi mo, kahit anong combination mo, halo-halo. <laughs> Pinoy halo-halo. <laughs> Pinoy halo-halo. I mean, lahat kayo may magagawa and... Uh, Nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng guests natin for Voti Radio kasi lahat sila may iba't ibang uh, advocacy. advocacy. Iba-iba. Iba-iba talaga. Nagsimula tayo sa Apple, nagsimula tayo sa Piyabang, and now from, nasa Chinoy naman tayo. Sir, uh, okay, yung Twitter nyo, Facebook, nasabi nyo na po, uh, papana sir yung ano, uh, pagsasali na doon sa actually, open na po ba yung um, actually yung registration na will be open next week pa okay. so next week pa. They, they can just visit yung uh, <laughs> fan page namin will lalagay <laughs> buti natawanan nyo ako <laughs> interesado kayo hindi ako interesado para, para lang <laughs> ma-refresh yung mga oh, tagapakinig natin kasi baka may mga interested na Chinoy at oh, saka oh. na Chinoy diba saka manood kayo ng Chinoy TV kasi hmm. alam ko to si ang kasama natin si Marie hmm. nakapag ano din daw nakapag boses din ng tawa hmm. oh, diba yun kasi yung uh, Chinoy TV is uh, uh, parang partner nila yung Creative Voices uh, mga voice over mm. ayan so kaya din si, uh, kaya din sila close ni Sir Choi yeah. Sir Choi ayan Sir again paano po ulit makapag-register? Um, they, um, sa ngayon hindi pa kasi naka-open so mm. they just need to visit yung fanpage namin Chinoy TV official sa Facebook and then by next week lalagay namin lahat ng lahat ng detalye. And watch out na lang. And the auditions yeah. will be held in? Yung audition namin is November 10, afternoon. We're just, I think it's 2.30 in the afternoon mm-hmm. sa Lucky Chinatown. It's the newest yeah. mall in Binondo. Mm-hmm. So, dun dun namin siya gagawin. It's open naman to the public. So, kung may mga gustong mag-walk in, open din naman. Mm-hmm. Pero magkakaroon kami ng pre-registration. How do you commute going there? <laughs> <laughs> may bala. <laughs> Google map, Google map. <laughs> Sir, do you have any uh, last promotions para... Um, siguro yun lang uh, just to reiterate, reiterate yung na-mention ko kanina so mm-hmm. uh, Minga if you want to audition if you want to join you can just drop by Lucky Chinatown Mall on November 10 mm-hmm. so yun nga yung vision namin is makakreate ng the next Joma Richan wow. or the next Richard mm-hmm. Poon wow. so as you can see Sir ba- Chief yeah, parang <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so ganun yung na- actually si Sir medyo kamukhaan siya si Sir Chief um, pwede siguro yung kanina uh, kaya mo nabanggit si Sir Chief no? Ah. <laughs> okay, sir. so yun yung, yun yung ano namin yun yung advocacy namin then at the, at the same time na yun nga mag open ng door especially sa mga conservative na mga traditional Chinese na gusto lang yung mga anak nila mag negosyo na mag negosyo mm-hmm. so yun yung, yun yung ano namin more on innovation talaga to yeah. mga especially yung mga youth kasi very creative yes. so I, I think it's it's the right time right now to, to open that path for them okay so sir maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbunta niyo thank you thank you for thank you, having me wow from Chinoy TV Mr. Alvin na uh, King Santan ayan so o oh, mga kasama ko dito sa booth kamusta naman kayo ano natutunan niyo sa sa ating usap-usapan dito yun yung kasama ko Mar- maraming natutunan niyo <laughs> Chinay po ba siya? Chinay Chinay Chinay, Chinay. Chinito Chinito <laughs> Kuwanta okay so kayo uh, Jeka kamusta ka naman? nakakatuwa lang talaga yung mga tagal kong nawala diba 4 weeks akong wala nakakatuwa na Mm. Ba't ka nawala nga pala? Hoy, wait lang. Magbabalita ako. Ah, sige. First na nawala akong week kasi napaka-active ng Voice of the Youth Radio. Ah. First week nawala ako, nagpunta tayo ng Global Youth Summit mm, sa SM North EDSA. Kasama pala ako doon? Yeah. Okay. Kasama tayo. Okay, And next week. Next yung, katulad, yung kasunod na week na wala Yung ka. kasunod na week na wala ako dahil sa event yun, St. Paul Ignite. Oh. Sa St. Paul... Kasama din yata ako doon. HR Youth Summit mm-hmm. Ignite um, uh, event ng okay. UP Manila 
And psychology. Yung students. kasunod na week. Yung kasunod na week nagpunta tayo ng bataan. Yung bataan wow. big time. Wow. Um, Napaka-busy pala ng Voice of the Youth. Gusto ko magsulat ng ar- article. Gusto ko i-post natin sa sa, art, sa website natin. Okay. Yung tungkol sa bataan nuclear power plant. Siguro we'll have another episode for that kasi napakadaming dapat i-discuss tungkol doon. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko i-share yung mga natutunan namin doon, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos yung last week, yun, wala, wala, na, wala na talaga ako. Wala na. <laughs> Actually, namimiss ko na si Sir Choi. Hi, sir. Kasi last Sir week, Choy. wala, nasa sa, sa, ano siya, ilo-ilo yata siya last week. And then ngayon, nasa dumagay ito, wow, buti ba si Sir Choi? Napaka-active ng voice Napaka- of the news. Oo, oh, diba? So, mag-break muna tayo. Dahil uh, meron tayong news break. So, magbabalik kami mga katinig. Stay tuned. Radio Inquirer 990 AM Usaping Information Technology Isang IT firm ito na Composed of newly graduate IT professionals Mga gadgets na kinahuhumalingan ngayon Oo, laging trending ngayon iPhone 5 Android At iba't ibang usapin para sa mabilis na pag-unlad ng bayan Napakarami ko natin pag-uusapan eh. Tourism, anything under the sun po pwede ko natin pag-usapan Ang programang magbibigay kaalaman sa bayan Victory in Governance and Technology Through Information Network Be- Dati, kasama sina Den Macaranas, Arnie Barcelo, Angel Bonifacio, at Ellison Barcelo. Tuwing Sabado, alas 10 hanggang alas 11 ng umaga. Free Gati sa Radio Inquirer, 9.90 AM. Pakinggan tuwing Sabado ang Batikang Broadcaster ng Bayan, si Resti Nikiros. Sa kanyang malaya, patas, mabusisi at makabuluhang komentaryo sa mga kontrobersyal at masasalimuot na isyu sa Isyu Zero. Isyu Zero. Mapapakinggan mula alas 2 hanggang alas 3 ng hapon tuwing Sabado. Resti Nikiros sa Isyu Zero. Isyu Zero. Dito lamang sa DZIQ, Radio Inquirer, 990 AM. Radio Inquirer, 9.90 AM. Philippine Standard Time, it is now exactly 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here now is the news for this hour. The NDRRMC today called off the search for earthquake survivors in Bohol. And the RRMC chief Eduardo del Rosario said rescue operations have ended and instead recovery operation is now being conducted. Del Rosario added rescuers are still looking for some bodies to be recovered. Bohol, which is an island of about 1 million people and one of the country's main tourist destinations, suffered landslides, fallen bridges, shattered roads and collapsed buildings in Tuesday's magnitude 7.2 quake. It is known for its beaches, rolling chocolate hills, tiny Tarshur primates, and centuries-old Catholic churches, many of which collapsed or sustained heavy damage. The Department of Trade and Industry warned sanctions against violators of price freeze in quake-hit provinces of Bohol and Cebu. DTI Consumer Welfare and Business Regulations OIC Victorio de Magiba said those who will be proven to have violated price control will be sanctioned. De Magiba cited the Price Act, which states that price manipulators shall be imprisoned not less than five years or more than 15 years and will be fined not less than 5,000 pesos or more than 2 million pesos. De Magiba added that there are DTI teams in Cebu and Bohol monitoring the prices of basic commodities. That's the latest news for this hour. For more news updates, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our account is Radio Inquirer 990 at yahoo.com or visit www.dziq.am for our live video streaming. This is Ray C. Amado for Radio Inquirer 990 AM. Ito po ang Trans Radio Broadcasting Corporation, Radyo Inquirer, 990 AM. Kasapi ng KBP, naglilingkod, nagbabalita, may paninindigan. Radyo Inquirer, 990 AM. Hi, this is Boya Bunda and you are listening to the Voice of the Youth Radio. Ikaw na. What's up, y'all? My name is Abu the App, and listen to the voice of the youth radio. Fucking Ganya. Bebo, Bebo, Bebo. Wow, Bebo, Bebo, si Apple Diab, binati tayo. <laughs> 
Kung pare nga Paul, kamusta ka naman dyan? <laughs> kung pare, close. Okay. Actually, so, kung pare ko siya. Oh, actually. Wow! <laughs> actually, tito ko si Boy. <laughs> Ikaw na! <laughs> okay, ayan. Nagbabalik po tayo dito sa Voice of the Youth Radio. And dahil dyan, may bago na naman tayong guest. Ang na, full pack talaga na. Dito na oh, and dahil dyan ako, ito na yung guest natin. Oh, si Miss A. 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 Santos. Yes, okay, A. Santos. Dahil dyan, Okay, ma'am. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyo. Magandang araw din. Mm-hmm. Nakoy, ito, ba, ibang usapan naman to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, hi, ma'am. Uh, kamusta naman po kayo? Okay naman. So, kung nagtataka kayo at iniisip nyo kung ano naman na ibabahagi sa atin ng uh, ating guest ngayon, eh, nako, natataon lang naman to dahil malapit ng mag-November. Lagot. <laughs> Ayan. So, si ma'am Aya Santos is a paranormal expert. Okay, not exactly a not paranormal exactly. expert. Yes. But I have written a paranormal trilogy mm-hmm. that is based in the Philippines. Okay. My background is in psychology. Oh, yes. And when I was a teen, I was also experiencing paranormal things. And I wrote mm-hmm. my trilogy para nga yung mga teens mas maintindihan ang aspects about the paranormal mm-hmm. so, that they don't get information ayan, about. So, nagsisimula na po kami maging curious. So, <laughs> kay, magbahagi naman po kayo. So, go ma'am. Ah, uh, What's with uh, this uh, book and uh, this topic that oh. you have for us? Okay, the topic that I'd like to talk about is what teens need to know about the paranormal. Mm-hmm. I usually give talks mm-hmm. to schools about this. Pag, pag nag-talk ako, usually two hours. Kasi wow. yung one hour, question and answer yun. Mm-hmm. Question. But for now, syempre, <laughs> konti lang ang oras natin. So, hey, mag- pwede magtanong. Mag- <laughs> <laughs> magta-top, magta-top five lang yes. siguro. Go, ma'am. Okay. So, what teens need to know about the paranormal? Number one is, before believing something is paranormal, first look for the logical explanation. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kasi, marami sa atin kasi na tinatakot lang ang sarili, nag-jump to conclusion na it's a ghost agad. Pero there are certain things na we can find as actual reasons for this paranormal phenomena. So, for example, meron kayong naririnig na kumakaluskos sa gabi sa, sa bahay ninyo. Alamin niyo muna, baka may dagalang kayo. Hindi <laughs> diba? ko pa na naglilinis ng bahay. Oo, so, baka yun yung kaluskos or malay mo yung kapatid mo bumangon pala patagong kinakain yung chocolate yung sa ref. So, may kaluskos talaga. Okay. So, first look for the logical and mm-hmm. also... And this is a psychological aspect. There's also such a thing as matrixing. Matrixing. Ano, this matrixing, so hindi ito, wala itong kanilaman doon sa movie mm-hmm. na The Matrix. <laughs> Pero ang ibig sabihin ng matrixing is kasi our minds want to make sense of patterns. Mm-hmm. So if, for example, parang yung sa clouds, di ba clouds lang yan? Pero may mga kita kang, uy, elephant, uy, kangaroo, ah, di ba? Naranasan ko yan. So that's what we call <laughs> matrixing. So same thing, mm, minsan, di ba may mga ghost photographs daw na ayan may mukha sa, sa dagat mm-hmm. pero it's just yung shadows mm-hmm. dun sa waves ng dagat so it's nothing paranormal it's just matrixing mm-hmm. and minsan like experience ko parang akala ko may babaeng nakaputing dumaan sa mm-hmm. sa garahe namin <laughs> Yung pala, may nakasampay lang na kumon. Ayun. <laughs> Ayun tayo eh. So, Uh-oh. check nyo muna. Hindi yung tatakbo ka agad Uh-oh. kayo. <laughs> Before believing na, uy, multo agad. Okay. Isang beses pa, akala ako may polter guy sa amin kasi gumagalaw yung gamit namin. Yung pala may lindol. Ayun. <laughs> so, look for the logical first. Okay. So, yung next uh, okay. top. So, the second thing that teens need to know Okay, before you go ghost hunting or mm-hmm. learning more about the paranormal, first, know your purpose. Mm-hmm. Kasi may iba, actually, ako, guilty ako nito. Kasi dati, huwag niyo sabihin sa teachers ko, ah, talagang mm-hmm. nagsistay ako behind. Tapos, wow. ni-explore ko yung third floor namin na haunted. Oh my God. Kaya nahuli ako, napunta ako sa guidance. <laughs> Ilang? Yun. Pero nakikinig niyo ba yung background? Oo, oh, ang maganda background music wow. na. Okay, before you go ghost hunting, kasi yung ibang teens, na wala na old old na yung nagkukwentuhan sa campfire gusto mag ghost mm. hunting before you do that first know your purpose mm-hmm. kasi kung magtatakotan lang kayo doon nagkakaroon ng accident <laughs> kasi wala may nagblog lang na pinto mm. nagtakotan na nagtakbuhan na hulog yon nadapa nahulog sa sagdanan so yun bukas ng pinto may bukol na yung isa kasi yes, nagtulakan yes <laughs> nagtulakan na so ang mga okay siguro na ano for ghost hunting is 
ano, number one, you, you don't go anywhere na off limits. Okay. Yung pag-private, private talaga. I-respect talaga, mm-hmm. magpaalam, kung ayaw. Actually, sa mga bahay lang natin, every house has a ghost story. So, if you want to go ghost hunting, start there. Oh my God. Diba? So, ang, ang, ang pwedeng mga goals natin, kung hindi masyadong in-depth, gusto nyo lang fun with friends, magkwentuhan na lang kayo. Oh. O kaya manood kayo ng sine. Di ba marami mm-hmm. namang magaganda dyan? Okay. Or, if you want, do actual documentation. Mm-hmm. Meron na tayo, nakakatuwa nga, may downloadable na ng mga apps mm-hmm. ngayon. May da- downloadable na EMF meter for okay. uh, ano, measuring electromagnetic fields. Wow. We actually use that. Last night pala, we we were doing something for a TV show mm-hmm. na a, a ghost tour okay. na may nakukuha talaga kami readings in certain areas mm-hmm. that was in Intramuros. Mm-hmm. Okay? But never go ghost hunting <laughs> just because you want to prove that you're brave. Yeah. Yun. Kasi mapapahamak tayo dyan. Ayan. Just go. Oh, Alright. So. Top three. <laughs> eto, medyo meaty eto. So medyo may kailangan ng time. There are actually five kinds of Ghosts. Oh my God. Okay. So, <laughs> o oh, mga katinig ha, ibang usapan uh-oh. naman to. Take ha. notes. Makinig kayo dyan. Uh-oh. Kasi Kung may ano exam. Ball, may exam mamaya. Okay. Okay. The first is, ito yung common sa mga old places. It's called the residual haunting. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin ng residual haunting, para siyang ano, yung locations kasi, lalo na pag may high emotion na nangyari, kunyari gera, mm-hmm. nagpatayan. Mm-hmm. Kaya diba sa mga historical spots natin, may, may mga nasasabing, may, may naglalakad na gwardiya si Bill, <laughs> merong may pugot na ulo. Okay. Mm-hmm. It could be a residual haunting. What happened was, because of the high emotional energy of that situation, okay. na-record siya dun sa place. Oh. So, para, siya, para lang siyang ano, recording, uh, na- para siyang MP3, yes. <laughs> na pag tama yung, ano, yung, pag pareho yung conditions, kunyari, umuulan nung nangyari yun. Mm-hmm. Pag umuulan, nang na-activate uli yung haunting. So, nakikita natin. Mm-hmm. So, alam natin na residual haunting yon Pag wala silang pakialam sa atin, yung parang, ayan na yung gwardiya si Bill, naglalakad. Pero, para siyang nandun pa rin sa ruta niya. Wala siyang pakialam sa'yo, hindi ah. kanya nakikita. Mm, okay. Kaya nga may mga anniversary haunting, eh, yung, year, yung anniversary of the death. Mm-hmm. Yung iba parang, December siya nag-suicide. So, dahil December, lumamig ulit, nagkakaroon uli nung ganong haunting. So, the second kind of haunting is the intelligent haunting. So, ito yung nag interact siya sa'yo. Nag-smile ka, nag-smile rin siya sa'yo. Okay. Wow. So, talaga nag interact siya, nag-iisip siya. Kung okay. gusto, baka nga nakita ka, talagang inabot pa yung kamay sa'yo. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ayun. Diyos ko naman. Diyos. Ano itong nasa screen niya? Okay. <laughs> si Jekka pala. Okay. May okay. different kinds of intelligent haunting rin. Pero, mm-hmm. basically, the intelligent haunting that we're talking about here is yung mga human energy. Okay. There is living and non-living. Mm-hmm. Okay? You might be surprised. There was a case, and this was, I mentioned this in book two. In, in, kasi I have three, I have a trilogy. Okay. Book one is Voices in the Theater. Book two is Corpse in the Mirror is launching this Halloween mm-hmm. on both on Amazon.com. Okay. Um, may there, there's this real case na yung family, they complained na tuwing December, Christmas nga daw, they saw a pregnant, they would see the the outline of a pregnant woman na mm-hmm. spirit spirit mm. talaga siya, okay. crying in their kitchen. So, they tried to find out may namatay bang pregnant woman mm-hmm. na nakaraan. Tapos, when they found the history of the place, walang namatay, pero nahanap nila yung dating owner. The, the, yung dating owner mm. is a single mom. Okay. And during Christmas, when her husband died, she was pregnant. Uh, so, she was facing the prospect of raising her baby alone. It was Christmas. She was so sad. Sabi. She was crying in the kitchen all the time. Mm-hmm. She was still alive. Mm-hmm. Pero may naiwan na essence. Okay. Kasi ang high nung emotion niya at that time. Mm-hmm. So, it, it could be a... Uh, parang it's still an it's sort of a residual haunting pero you can also see na pwedeng ano live, living or non living ang mga hauntings okay okay next the next kind of ghost <laughs> is actually entity it's the non human entity mm-hmm. ito yung ano stay away from them ito yung mga tinatawag natin elementals nature spirits okay. demonic entities negative entities talaga mm-hmm. okay the th- Other kind is, pang fourth na ba tayo? Okay. Poltergeist. Uh, 
Ano ba yan? Okay. Kaya, bakit different ang poltergeist? Sa poltergeist, in Germ, it's ano, German for noisy ghost. Mm. Kaya siya na-coin yung term na yun. It's because with the poltergeist case, usually ang ghost nakikita mo lang nagdi-disappear. Mm-hmm. But with the poltergeist, talagang may nat- natatapo na ano, gamit. gamit. May gamit sa bahay. Talagang nag-a-appear, nagdi-disappear. May nasasaktan yung mga tables <sighs> nag-move talaga. was actually been found parang sa pelikula lang no oh. <laughs> oo parang conjuring <laughs> was actually been found in all poltergeist cases na document is that in every poltergeist case there's always a teenager mm. in the family and there's always a family issue mm-hmm. so what what uh, the theory right now by ano parapsychologists is that What's happening is that diba during teenage years yung puberty, mataas ang energy mm-hmm. natin, yung hormones. Yung ibang teen, teens kasi nag-act out, nagre-rebel. Mm-hmm. May teens na hindi nila alam yung power ng mind nila, yun na pala yung nagka-create nung mm-hmm. poltergeist activity. That's why all poltergeist cases within two to three years nawawala. Kasi nag, uh, nag, uh, ano na, nag-mellow na yung hormones. Uh, tumatanda din sila. <laughs> Oo, and nare-resolve siguro yung family issue. Uh, okay. And finally, there's also the fifth kind of ghost. It's created by what we believe in, by the human mind. Mm. There's this specific case. It was done in the 1800s by the London Psychical Society. They actually, this group actually created a ghost. So what happened hmm? was, sabi nila kasi, baka yung, baka yung mind lang natin na nagka-create ng ghost. And that's actually really possible. Kasi what they did was, they created a backstory for a ghost named Philip. talagang yung buhay niya, anong kinamatay niya, saan siya nakatira. And then they held a seance, and then they asked Philip to manifest, and then to answer questions, yung parang two knocks for yes, one knock for no. Mm-hmm. And talagang nag-manifest si Philip, and talagang nag, ano, nagkakaroon ng knocks, even though he never existed. But whenever they asked him something na hindi kasama sa backstory nila, <coughs> talagang walang answer. Okay. So, Ang masasabi lang natin, kunyari, we have urban legends like the white lady at Baleta Drive. It's very possible that maybe there was an entity before there. Pero what if, ano yun, nakitatakot na ba? <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ni Kuya Fritz, oh, walang napokpok sa taas, guni-guni nyo lang yun. Okay, guni <laughs> lang. Okay. Okay. Possible kasi na because of everyone's belief na merong white lady. Di ba yung pag nadadaan tayo sa balete, nagmamadali tayo, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. It's possible that our minds, our collective consciousness can be creating mm-hmm. these manifestations. Tayo, tayo din pala gumawa. Sabi nga ni Kikrits, guni-gunin nyo lang yun. <laughs> yes, yun. Ayun. Okay, so yun yung five kinds. Oh, yun yung goals. five kinds. So, we're down to four. Top okay, four. top four thing that teens need to know. Just like all experiences, you can learn from your paranormal experiences. Mm-hmm. Okay, so number one thing that, ano, and we can learn from other people's experiences. Number one thing that I am warning everyone, not just teens, against is using a Ouija board, a sp- in spirit of the glass, and spirit yeah. of the coin. There are very, um, ano eh, in, in the course of writing my books, Ren, mm-hmm. I've, I've undergone seminars on exorcism. Mm-hmm. There, uh, there are very real, there are very few actual cases of possession, demonic okay. possession. Pero the, some of the very real cases happened because there was a Ouija board or spirit mm. of the glass that was used. Yeah. One of it, yung, yung iconic na The Exorcist, mm-hmm. it was actually based on a true story, but it was a little boy who used a Ouija board. Ayan. And talagang totoo yung case niya in the 1970s. Mapupuso kasi. <laughs> Ayan. So yon okay. stay away. So learn from other people's experiences okay. then. And finally, yeah, finally, number five, Do not let your fascination with the spirit world let you lose touch of your real world. Mm. Yon, okay kasi nagtambay na dun sa. <laughs> Oo, talagang yon. Kasi yung iba kasi like before in my experience, I was because of my fascination with the paranormal, I almost went yung parang I was a practicing psychic. I did palm reading and mm-hmm. card reading. Yeah. Pero what I decided was para kasi parang you you think you feel special because you can see things that other people can't. Pero what I did instead was I redirected. Mm-hmm. Yung, ano, I used to be able to hear things. Now, in my work in counseling and coaching mm-hmm. and even in my writing, parang I redirected the things. Yung, it's actually intuition and everyone has intuition. I redirected that into what I'm actually doing now. Mm. So you can do more research, find out yes. more information. There's a lot of scientific information now, theories, okay. about what makes paranormal phenomena. Oh, yan. So, ano, yeah. may, may tatanong ba kayo? Oh, oh. 
Sige, sige. Ako, ako muna. Ah, siya muna, siya muna. Okay. So, ma'am, ano yung meron ka bang nararamdaman ngayon dito sa loob? <laughs> May nagkita ka ba? Wala. Wala. Wow, good vibes wow, tayo good news. Ne, pero, on the other hand, matagal ko nang nirepress kasi. Okay. Uh, you can actually ignore it, lalo na kung nakakomplicate ang buhay mo. Di ba? Ah, so, pwede mo siya tanggihan? Lang, pwede. Okay. Para siyang, ano, any kind of ability that we have. If mm-hmm. you don't use it, you will lose it. So, ah, it's okay. Tal- lalo na kung complicated na nga ang buhay mo, dadagdagan mo pa niya. <laughs> Okay naman, napakawalan mo na lang. Ayan. So, sa so mga, uh, mga katinig natin, nakikinig ngayon, andito si Miss uh, A.S. Santos. Yes. Kasi, naisip namin na timely kasi malapit na mag-November. And sa so mm-hmm. mga November, mga usapan niya, talagang ganitong tipong usapan na yung nagaganap. So, at least na, nalinawang kayo na <laughs> hindi lahat na kumakalos kasi multo. Minsan daga, <laughs> kaya maglinis ka ng bahay mo. Hindi yung puro katakot, di ba? So, kayo, may tanong pa kayo? The, uh, last one. Sige. Po. May mga kasunod po bang encounters? Uh, ano, um, marami talaga. Marami experiences. Pero as as you go along and you keep ignoring and keep ignoring, it it dies out talaga. Is, isa pang tip pala, mm-hmm. if you're you have you're dealing with these ano, experience, paranormal experiences and gusto mo medyo mawala yung sensitivity mo, nakuha ko to from the Ghost Hunters, yung, yung show, mm-hmm. eat green olives. For some green reason, olives. there's something about green olives <laughs> that sort of represses yung sensitivity level. Favorite ko yan. Yeah. <laughs> After Pero, dinner, wine, then olives. Yeah. Can you tell us what happened po during your first experience? Maram, marami eh. Marami akong paranormal experiences. And medyo mahabang ikwento. Mm. Just one, one, short, one okay. short thing lang. Okay. Before I was born, before I was born, nasa chan pa lang ako ng mom ko. Kasi ano, uh, my my grand my grandfather died before ako ay panganak. Eh ako yung panganay na apo sana. Sabi ng mom ko, mga six months or seven months old ako sa chan niya. She woke up, patay na yung dad niya noon. She woke up, tapos ang niya para may smoke sa wall. And then afterwards, ano, parang nag-clear yung smoke and nakita niya yung dad niya which is my grandfather. Wow. And ang ginawa lang ng grandfather ko, nginitian siya at nginitian ako dun sa room. <laughs> Tapos nag-disappear na siya. Okay. Ayan. So, let's hear so, more yeah. about from Miss Ay- Ma'am, maraming maraming salamat okay. po sa pagpunta niyo dito sa aming gusto. Sa pag-share niyo po ng experiences niyo na hindi namin malalaman sa yes. iba. <laughs> I have other, ano, uh, if you want kung, to know paano my... Po kami makakont- paano po kayo makakontak? Yes. Yung other ghost experiences ko and also about the books, okay. the books that I'm writing, It's at studentparanormalresearchgroup.com. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's also on Facebook, so just look for SPRG cases. SPRG cases. Or Twitter. Student Paranormal Research Group. Okay, saan pa po kayo pwedeng makonta? Mostly Facebook. dun Facebook. Facebook. It's, it's, oh, okay. There's a Facebook page. Once again, Miss A.S. Santos yes. para sa ating uh, kakaibang uh, usapan naman. Mm-hmm. Kasi medyo... Alam mo yun, nag, nagbigay naman tayo ng bagong timpla dito sa Voice of the Youth Radio. Medyo... Ibang voices. Uh, no, ibang right? voices na no? mga naririnig mo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hindi ako yun ha. Oh, sige. Maraming maraming salamat po. Liman. Palakpakan natin si Mama. Yay. Okay, Mama. Eh, pero kung may gusto pa po kayo promote, uh, go po. Yes, actually, yes. Dahil batian, ma- ano, batian portion na po tayo. Uh, okay. eh. oh, sige po. Yun nga, um, I wrote the series talaga for... Teens who are experiencing paranormal phenomena. Kasi, ma- ano, the, yung, yung bida ko doon na isang group, the Student Paranormal Research Group, and they're dealing with paranormal phenomena. And also, it's the setting is in Manila, Philippines. So, parang, para for once naman, meron tayong, it's a young adult trilogy series na setting naman Philippines. Para hindi nalang puro states ang mga series and trilogy natin. Mm, diba? Ayan. So, ayan si Miss yeah. A. A. Santos. So, ayan, tinawagan ulit natin ang ating mga kaibigan from Yabang Hello. Pinoy. And uh, si Sir RJ din. Babati na po sila. Go, si Sir muna. Okay. Actually, more of ano, mag-invite lang sa oh, mga invite. tao ulit. Okay. Um, November 23 to 24, 2013 in Rockwell 10. Mm-hmm. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Global Pinoy Bazaar. Everyone's invited to come. Uh, It's the showcase of 100% Filipino made and may pagbamayabang talaga ang Pilipino. Oh, okay. Yes. Si Sir Ali, go make. Okay na, oh, kayo na po kayo. Okay si, na Sir RJ, bilang uh, maraming maraming salamat nga po pala sa pag-upo niyo sa trono <laughs> <laughs> ni Jeka. <laughs> Ayun, okay. so mga nakikinig at gustong uh, interesado maging parte ng aming proyekto, The yes, Apple Project. 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 Uh, pwede nilang i-check yung aming page sa Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash AppleboyRJ or pwede sila mag-message doon anytime at sasagutin namin wow. yung mga message na ngayon po ba sir may mga project po ba kayo ngayon actually para almost uh, 
Actually, okay. al- natandaan ko sa yung pinabanggit sa akin ni Sir Peter na last eh, hindi ko alam kung kailan yun. Basta last last time na nag-air kami is may ginagawa kayong project sa mga cancer. Aben? May oh, bigay kayo ng Apple. Ayun. Uh, <laughs> Kasi nga yung project. May, may partnership kami sa ano with uh, N- uh, ex-NBA star mm, Steve yun, Palmerberry. Oh, yun. Uh, pinapromote din niya yung advocacy namin. Ayan. So, sir, once again, this is Mr. RJ Garcia from Apple Drive Project and si nagsalita kanina si Sir Dan Napa from Yabang Pinoy na oh napakasaya oh sige dahil marami tayo dito ngayon bumat eh meron pa plug si Marie Go. yes um, I'm inviting everyone to come and join oh uh, by the way I'm Marie Marketing of uh, Voice of the Youth uh, Network and Beta Box Philippines okay um, meron kami event this next Saturday 9am at um, tang, tahanan ng pagmamahalan tahanan Ay, ng pagmamahal. ta- tahanan ng pagmamahal sorry at uh, it's an orphanage we're gonna teach the children Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. Uh-huh. Um, we're gonna teach uh, the children to play the cajon, mm-hmm. and then after that, we have 1 p.m. at Cribs. Uh, Cribs. It's a uh, create responsive infants by sharing. Um, it's it is a program for the kids and in NGO, and we we will also be teaching them um how to play the cajon. So everyone is invited. You can drop by. You can also help teach the kids how to play Beat the, the box. cajon. Box, yung pinapatok patok. Ay, yung yung, <laughs> yung, dinal, yung example kay dito <laughs> ah, dati. Ah, oh, yun dati. Ah, oh. yun. So, yun, so, that's Marie and, and yun lang? Um, you can visit our website for more information www.betabox.com.ph or you can visit our Facebook and Twitter Betabox Philippines. Mm, so, kayo, mga tech angels, I'll go Kimi, kayo na muna. Um, hi, I wanna say hi to Sir Brian and oh, yes. Ate Chai and, and Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. Is hi, Angel. Good boy, okay? <laughs> uh, hi, I'd like to greet my best friends, Michi, Squishy, Nagi, and Umi. Hello! Sa lahat po na nakakarinig sa boses ni Maika, <laughs> hindi po siya nagjo-joke. <laughs> That's her natural voice. Okay, Aleha? Hi, I'm Aleha, the newest Techie Angel, and mm-hmm. I'd like to greet my family, the Infanta family and Flipman family. Ayan, si meron tayong asama dito eh, from uh, VoiceWorks. Ating bagong youth reporter. Uh, ating bagong youth reporter. Sige, uh, go sa mic and magpakilala ka. Hey. Ah, sige. Uh, hello, good afternoon. I'm James. Uh, yes, James. Caster from UP Diliman. Mm-hmm. And uh, in terms of... Uh, what? Uh, promotion, I want to promote uh, the University of the Philippines Speech Communication Association, or UP SPECA, okay. will, will uh, hold its speech call uh, mm-hmm. on November 30 in partnership with the, of course, with the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts. Uh, ngayong taon na to, ang aming tema ay tungkol sa ika-150 taon ng, ni Andres Bonifacio, kung mm-hmm. nabubuhat pa siya ngayon. So, yeah. Asang tribute ito, it, uh, ito ay magtatapok ng paglalaban-laban ng mga eskwelahan okay. n- ng, Meg- ng Mega Manila mula sa, uh, sa larangan ng oral interpretation mm-hmm. and speech choir. So, if you're interested, you can go, uh, it will be held uh, sa, sa UP, mm-hmm. uh, November 30, uh, it's a whole day thing. At the College of Engineering uh, Melchor Hall. So, oh, see you there yeah. if you're interested. And... I don't know. Um, may, maybe next time I can sh- I can name the schools na magpa-participate doon. So, there. Oh, okay. Ayan. So, again, ma- maraming salamat, James. Ha? And uh, welcome natin siya bilang ating bagong youth reporter. Si Ate Mina na andito ngayon. Hi, Ate Mina! Ah, sige, bati ka ngayon. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Ah, I ah, was sige. busy um, nung mga nakaraang araw mm-hmm. kasi busy kami sa Division Schools Press Conference wow. dyan sa Antipolo City. And I, I want to congratulate everyone, all of the student writers and of course the advisors. Gusto ko rin congratulate yung estudyante namin, si China Uy. Pasok kami sa regionals. Wow. Yay. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. Actually, dyan ako nagsimula sa pagganyan-ganyan sa Uh-oh. DSP. Eh, dati, ako, <laughs> dati participant lang ako ngayon school paper advisor. Na. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so si ano nga pala no si Ate Audrey. Wala nga si Ate Audrey. Nasaan siya ngayon? Nasa Sambales, nagde-dive dive dun sa mga... kasi si Ate Audrey is yung diver, uh, skin diver siya. Oh yeah, sige, oh, mga babati pa go. Oh, hi everyone. Thanks sa lahat na nakinig today. At saka Sam break na. Enjoy your oh, break. Nga pala sa break na. <laughs> Ayan, so oh. um Hi, Pauwi Jason ka ba ng probinsya? Oo, oh, oh, pauwi na ako sa Monday. No, I don't know. Pa. Iman dito pa ako next week. Okay. So, yeah. And hi again, this is Rosario Revuelta. What do you really have? Okay, Jaxie. 
So hi guys, it's Sam Break na. Enjoy natin to ha. Ang mga ka, mga katinig, Sam Break na ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin more voice of the youth radio sa ating mga kabataan. Mm. Okay, go go go. Go Adrian. Hello guys, na miss kong kausapin kayo. And hindi ko naman ay nakita niyo naman ako sa live streaming na pata- palakad-lakad. <laughs> <laughs> so yan, uh, uh, binabati ko kayo ng isang magandang hapon and thank you for listening to us today and binabati ko ang nanay ko and yung best friend ko na si Aya Sin. And may best friend ba talaga? Uh, and uh, thank ma- you sa ma- mga g- ma'am, ma- eh may may may, may masasabi po ba kayo kay Adrian? <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> gusto ko lang ano, gusto ko lang malam, baka may, may nakikita siya sa'yo. Uh, yung may naka, ano pala sa'yo. Meron pa, uh, May mga kaibang energy po uh, ba kayo nararamdaman? Energy po ba? Wala po ah, ba? Wala naman. Wala naman, wala naman ma'am. Ayun, uh, magpasalamat tayo kasi ano, pinaunla kang tayo ng mga guest natin. Uh, so, isa-isa yung mga ulit yung guest. <laughs> Oy, kasi ako, ako, oh, diba? ako pala ang guest coordinator ng Voice mm, of the diba? Radio. And, oh, yeah. and congratulations din sa mga staff, sa mga writers. Sila Jill and uh, sila yung mga market, marketing head natin, yung Techie Angels. And okay. sa lahat-lahat dahil nakabot tayo ng 10th episode, wow, guys. Wow, 10th episode. Yeah. Parang kailan ten lang. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so, congrats natin yung, ano, yung Yabang Pinoy, Yabang yung Pinoy? Uh, Apple Drive Apple uh, Drive project, project, and yung si, si Miss Eileen. Si Sir. Ay, si Ma'am A. Yes. Yes. A. Si student <laughs> paranormal <laughs> research group. Laglag yes. na. Yes. Ay, si uh, Sir. Congrats din daw natin yung mga multo. Si Sir, ano? Ayun, at saka yung Chinoy TV. TV, yes. na ano, sa sobrang busy, naka, nakapunta pa dito at nakapag-share. Yes. And pinapabati pala, pahaba lang, si Ricky Man- Manli- Manlikis of, of BN2. Nakikinig sa atin. Hello. Siyem, oh, tapos ka na. Oh, tapos ah, na. Naman, Bye. Naman. Okay, muli po, nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng nakinig sa atin. And muli, Woohoo! next Saturday. Okay. Uh, ay, advance happy birthday kay Rosie. Oh. Happy birthday. Okay. Dahil dyan, maghahanda ka, ha? Pupunta kami lahat, ha? Yay! Okay. Sa lahat po ng tagapakinig, muli po kami pakinggan ninyo next Saturday at sa parehong oras, 3 to 4.30 ng hapon dito lamang sa DZIQ 990AM. Ako nga po pala muli si Dan, ang inyong anchor pag wala si Sir. <laughs> pag wala si Sir. Actually, ka, ah, tatlo kami dito, si Jexy, ako, tsaka si Sir Pocholo. Since wala si Sir, ako muna umupo dito and si Jexy, and yun, masaya tayong lahat. Hey! Okay. Hey! Binabati yeah, ko yung hey! uh, nanay at tatay ko na nakikinig ngayon. Kung nakikinig man sila. Okay. Na, nasa Quezon sila ngayon. Abot ba tayo sa Quezon, Kaya Fritz? Wow! Abot tayo sa Quezon. Nandahin wow! dyan. Muli po nagpapaalam na po ang Voice of the Youth Radio. Hanggang sa muli. Paalam mga katina. Paalam! You have just listened to another inspiring, motivating, and empowering episode of Voice of the Youth Radio with the voice master himself, Mr. Pachola Gonzalez. Together with the Voice of the Youth Network and the Student Voice Artist Society. Like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash Voti Radio. That's V-O-T-Y Radio. Tune in again next Saturday, 3 p.m. at Radio Inquirer, 9.90 a.m. Visit www.voti.org. Radio Inquirer, 990 AM.